what's going on guys welcome back to another video by myself fallacy in today's video i'm going to be showing you five tips that you need to know before you enter season 11. some of these tips will give you a great advantage when entering a public match or even like a competition and some of these tips are just more for fun so it's going to be quite diverse and this video is going to be for all sorts of people with that being said if you guys are on your own here and do go on to find this video of any use or do find to enjoy it make sure to hit that subscribe button also i do post a lot of these tips nearly every single day so if you want to get a competitive advantage over your opponents by seeing these tips before them make sure to have those post notifications turned on okay so moving on to the first tip so for this first tip it's very useful especially when you're in a situation around here where you've got an end game zone and you don't want to waste any mats maybe you're low or maybe you just don't want to waste any what you can do easily you can just build up over here you can break one of these metal things above the bridge you place that down and then you just go up into here and you can break these walls all the way as well so if you want to go any further you crawl all the way over here and this is the maximum it goes up to it's pretty hard for opponents to find you and especially if you just place a random build like that or something people aren't going to find you it's going to be a very easy camping spot for you and hopefully this will help you to get placement points and before we do move on to this video or move on with the second tip i just want to say all these tips are going to be very useful so make sure to watch the end of this video okay so moving on to the second tip this second tip is going to be kind of like two or three tips in one we'll have a look see what i can do so for the first one all i want to say is if you guys don't know know this already all you have to do to rotate faster inside of Luke Lake is place down a floor like this and basically just EJ dash. You can see it boosts you a very long way rather than you have to jump like this very slowly. So you just want to build up, go like that. Oh, someone shoot me. I'm just going to quickly EJ dash out. No, please don't hurt me. It's not very nice. <laughs> okay, so let me find my hoverboard that I was using a second ago and I'll show you guys the second tip. Okay, so for the second part of this tip, if I just take this hoverboard over here, Basically, what this tip allows you to do is take no full damage with a whole board. So if you jump off, uh, you won't take any full damage, as you'll see here. I'm going to go all the way up like that, and I'm just going to jump off. When I land, zero full damage. What this actually does, which is quite interesting, is makes it a lot more viable for end games in scrims. Because before, when people were on a whole board, they were scared of it being broken midair, they would die of full damage. Now you can just have them boxed up in your box, and you can um, pretty much use them to rotate and jump off whenever you want to. And for this final tip over here, I'm just going to rotate across Loot Lake like this. Hey, I can't see this guy. Okay, great. We're here. And that's all I need to do. So for this one, all you want to do over here is if I can make my way round. There's an air vent that can actually boost you all the way across Loot Lake so you don't have to travel. So if I go to this air vent, all you want to do is just jump onto it and press W key if you want to go all the way. But if you don't, you just want to hold back. You can go right inside the rift and rotate to wherever the zone is. For the third tip of this video, I'm going to be moving over to Tilted Town to show you a very nice peek you guys can use to get very easy kills on your opponents. This is especially useful early game. So hopefully what I'm going to do here is get a gun. So for this third tip over here, what you can actually do, you can go to the top of this ledge and just look right down your opponents and get the easiest shot of your life on them. Because if you see up here, if I'm the opponent walking up, they're going to be up there looking at you and you won't be able to see them. Uh, so yeah, if you're walking up these stairs, you're pretty much going to get killed. This happened to me and my whole trio actually uh, a few days ago. But we're not going to talk about that. I'm just going to be showing you guys the tips. Hopefully I'm going to bait someone into coming after me. There we go. Very easy. That was first game on. I told you guys I'm very confident that this will work. He can resist it. He took the bait. Came up the stairs and it was a very easy kill for me. Once again, if he's running up here, there's no way he's going to be able to see me. He's going to think I'm here, but I'm all the way up there and he won't even have an angle on me. Okay, so moving on to our third kind of little tip. This third little tip is actually a tip of how you can make your 1v1s look very cool. If you guys haven't seen Flea's video yet, it's an amazing video. But anyway, uh, there's basically a glitch that you can be invisible whilst 1v1ing. And this is the map code up for it. So you just want to pause the code or pause the screen and take a screenshot of that. And it's Flea's floating 1v1 map. And what he's got inside of this is these basically glitch shadow bombs which allows you to 1v1 whilst you're invisible. If you guys want to do it on your own island, um, watch this video, just type in Flea on YouTube and it will be the first thing to come up. So all you want to do when you go into the island, you just want to start the game. And then when you go over to here, you'll see this little spawner over here. And it, there will be some glitch items inside. You can see there's a purple shadow bomb. So you just want to take that purple shadow bomb and you can see as soon as you take it in your inventory, it's going to turn you uh, invisible and... It makes you a bit faster as well. It gives you the speed of a shadow bomb. So I'm going to... 
Oh my god, that's so hard to edit. Yeah, okay. So this is basically like a speed up version of um, a 1v1, but it's going to look very cool in your clips. And you can also do things like double jump as well. So you can see there, I'm double jumping. And it basically has all the attributes of a shadow bomb. But you're invisible in 1v1, in which could actually end up looking very cool for clips. So if you guys want to go for this, I highly recommend it. I want to see some of you guys do this because it's very, very cool. Okay, you have to go so fast with that. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. So for this fifth tip, we're going to go over to Greasy whilst it's still here. And hopefully the old Greasy will come back soon. But this actually makes this place in Greasy a lot more viable of a drop spot. So if I break down into here, you all know this 100% chest spawn. It spawns every single time. And it's basically a teaser because you can't get the chest. But there's a very easy way that you can actually get it. So all you want to do is just break all of this stuff around. And when you break it, just place down a ramp inside there. And then ramp up here and you need to find that perfect spot where you're able to break the floor underneath. So it might take you a second, but hopefully you will be able to find it. Okay, so I found that spot. And you can see now that it's broken and the loot will just come right down into you. And this actually makes it a lot more viable, as I said before, because you get three chest spawns now instead of two. And you get a lot of floor loot. Okay, for this final tip, what this actually requires is your duo. And this is actually for when you get knocked as well. So you can actually sprint whilst you're crouched or whilst you're knocked, actually. I'm going to show you how to do this. It's very easy. So I need to just find myself grenades. <laughs> I just find myself grenades or something where I can kill myself. And then I can show you guys yeah. the tip. I'm, I'm oh. Okay, I'm gonna let this guy kill me. I'm gonna let him kill. Oh. I'm gonna yeah. let this guy kill me. Okay, you can see here when I'm dead, now I can actually crouch like this. And I'm sprinting whilst I'm cr <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what that normally does is um you can see there that I move a lot faster when I'm crouched, which actually could be good for getting you out of situations. Yes, so if sir. you guys know you're about to die, make sure you're crouching. Anyway, with that last tip being said, that's about it for this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. And as I said at the start of this video, if you did find it of any use or found it of any uh, enjoyment as well, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to see videos like this before any of your opponents or competitive advantage, make sure to turn those post notifications on. Uh, oh, Fonzie just died. Anyway, I hope you all have an amazing day, as I said before, and I'll see you in my next video.